Hey guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So we're in the heat of it now. We're starting to learn more about the past of Ari and her grandpa, and we're starting to learn more about Lance, too. So, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Memories that you cherish. Let's not assign characteristics for Lance. He needs to have mass appeal. Well, having a looks is a must. Doesn't Tay feel like a sophisticated older brother? Let's have him work at a cafe. A fantastic coffee maker. Yuri? Yuri should be the sexy drummer. I don't need to say this out loud, right? You know, should arouse maternal instincts, like a cute puppy. It should be nice to have him talk with animals. It's cute. Let's not assign strong characteristics for Lance. The owner can have him be whatever she wants. Oh, but more than that, should we try an auction, an action hero concept? A wizard might be cool, too. Of course, some might not like it, depending on their taste. Whoa. <sighs> Was that a dream? Whoa. So they didn't assign any characteristics to Lance. They just wanted him to conform to whatever anyone else wanted him to be. That sounds terrible! Like, at least Yunho had his own personality. Kind of, though it was manufactured. But all of them were manufactured except for Lance. All he had was his looks. He didn't have anything else. That's really sad. <sighs> it's morning. I reach out for my smartphone as always. What? So much texting between these two. Oh goodness. Your clothes looked good on you today. I'm glad that you liked them. It is late. Go to bed soon. Okay, good night. I saw Yunho pouring salt on the eggs. Be careful when you're eating breakfast. Yeah, okay. Are you already at school? I'm on my discipline duties. Where are you eating lunch? At the cafeteria. The bread is all sold out. Ugh. I bought another piece of pizza bread if you want to come to the roof. Hooray, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, well, they're so cute. I've been texting with Lance a lot these days. I have zero texts today. It's 8 o'clock now, so Lance should already be at the school as the discipline guide. In my smartphone are a bunch of pictures of the boys in their new clothes we bought at the department store. <laughs> the smartphone thing is really useful. My old phone had creepy... My old phone had crappy image quality. I should get up now. Tay should have made breakfast for me by now. Is it my turn to wash the dishes? A limo stopped in front of the front door. The playground was full of people waiting for the hot five to arrive. As the boys got out of the car one by one, all the girls screamed. This happens every morning, but I still can't get used to it. I'll probably never get used to this. Ah! I remember the first day we went to school together. I tried to escape as I was scared the other girls might attack, but Yuri forced me into the car. I still shiver when I think of that day. But thankfully, my worries didn't come true. Everyone was so busy looking at all those cute boys that no one cared about me. But just to be sure, I should get off the car last. Thankfully, I didn't become the common enemy of all the girls. But it's still tiresome to go to school like this. Ugh, <sighs> safe again. I looked towards the front gate and saw Lance. As usual, he was being the perfect discipline guide. Good luck today. Text sent! <laughs> I've gotten to enjoy texting with Lance a lot. Second period is over. Two more hours to go and finally lunchtime. We have exams soon. For some reason, I feel gloomy. I haven't even studied that much. I feel trapped in the dark. Well, I guess I'll have to cram the night before. Next class is math. The most difficult class to stay awake in. But I'll have to try. Sin bleh bleh. Since exams are coming soon. Hey. Yeah? Shinbi suddenly poked me. I see something funny. Something funny? I looked at where Shinbi was pointing at. A girl was in front of Lance. What's going on? Um, I don't know this part. Lance, you're good at math, right? It's math next class, and I think the teacher's going to call on me. 
I can't solve this by myself. Can you help? Please? The girl looked at Lance with sad eyes. Oh, uh -huh, this looks interesting. Now let's see how he freezes that girl, Ice Prince. Zoe cut in and started to broadcast what's happening. I worried when Zoe mentioned the word freeze. I just hope what happened in the cafeteria doesn't repeat itself. How pathetic. Oh, uh -huh, here we go, Ice Arrow. Isn't this part here wrong? Why is this unnecessary formula here? All you have to do is use the most basic theorems. And here, look here. Did you ever think about why these formulas are in red boxes? It's because they are important. So you have to use this and convert that before you use the integral. You do know how to solve an integral, right? Um, y yeah. The Lance, it's good that you're teaching her, but she's about to cry. Are you listening? If you don't even know how to solve an integral, Ugh, all right, I'll go back to what we learned two weeks ago. Go to the previous chapter. This red box here is the formula, so to start from the beginning. Somehow, he does manage to explain everything. The girl looks like she's about to cry, but she does continue to nod. I can tell Lance is trying to be nice to her. And he didn't flat out ignore her, at least. That's funny. Funny. The two seemed amused. I wondered if I should say... I wondered if I should say it's funny, too. Don't you think Ice Prince changed a bit? So his eyes sparked. Oh, really? I mean, I guess so. Before he would have just ignored her. Maybe, oh, maybe spring is coming. What? What does that mean? When spring comes, ice melts. <laughs> huh? Oh, right, health commissioner. So he looked at me and said, I'm talking to you, you, you're the health commissioner. Oh, right, I am. I forgot that. I didn't have much to do, so I've been forgetting. Unless the school nurse asks for me, I don't really have anything to do. The school nurse looked for you. Why? Every time I hear Mr. Eugen is looking for me, I get nervous. He told me he had to make a list of the living or something. He told you to come by during lunchtime. I was right to feel nervous. A list of the living. Ugh. I have no idea why he makes me take care of weird stuff like that. No matter how hard I think, it seems to have nothing to do with the health commissioner. I'm sure he's abusing his authority. I wanted to cry. Cheer up! He is a bit crazy, but he still looks good. Maybe you guys might fall in love seeing he always makes you do things. Don't say stuff like that. If we fall in love, he might dissect me with that surgical knife of his. I have no intention of becoming the second Beatrice. Anyways, he asked for you, so you have to go. And also, do you want to go to Van Jewel after school? It's been a long time since we saw hot boys. Let's study there since exams are coming anyways. I have no idea what our exams have to do with not having seen hot boys for a while, but... Alright. The bell rang at that moment. Ugh. What does Mr. Eugen want me to do now? I see a huge pile of papers in front of me. What is this? Can't you tell? It's paperwork. No, I get that. Are you searching for a successor? The papers are filled with personal information. Picture, name, age, address, education, everything was written down. But they don't look like resumes. The papers all look like personal info sheets. Oh, and they're all women. He's not looking for a new school nurse, is he? <coughs> Finally, this school is coming to its senses and searching for a new school nurse. Seeing all the pictures, I see the women are all quite beautiful. Ugh, finally, no more of this nightmare. They are my prospective wives. What? Your prospective wives? You? I was so surprised I pointed my finger at him. Why is that? Why is that response? I'm a teacher too, you know. Get that finger away before I twist it. <gasps> oh, sorry. I was just surprised. I thought you'd never be interested. I'm not, usually. But then why? My love, Beatrice, is held hostage by hostage by vicious people. They seem to have called the school. They've told the school to donate Beatrice to someplace else until I look for a prospective wife. The damn old ma- I mean, the principal smiled and agreed. God knows why. Vicious people? Who are they? Threatening Mr. Eugen, they must be some strange people. I don't want to say. It's best not to know. Ugh. I flinched at Mr. Eugen's shining eyes. Besides, how can the school just donate Beatrice? Isn't she yours? Huh? No, she's not. What? Mr. Eugen answered indifferently. She's not. Then Beatrice... She's not... She's not? She's not a school equipment, is she? 
She is. This is more shocking than Mr. Eugen looking for a prospective wife. I naturally thought she was Mr. Eugen's personal possession since he always took her with him and scrubbed her day and night. We've never actually seen Beatrice in class. Anyways, I have to look for a prospective wife to protect Beatrice right now. I understand your situation, but how can I help with that? See those papers over there? Choose one. What? Even if it's for Beatrice, the lady will get mad if I actually see all those women. The school equipment getting mad? I can't waste time for Beatrice and myself, so I hope to get it over with quick. Just choose one at random. What? But still, I can't- And why me- Ignoring me- Ignoring me, Mr. Eugen turned around to face Beatrice. Beatrice, I'm so sorry. I will never betray you. How can I look at another woman with you here with that perfect thigh bone? Oh well, let's see the papers first. Just choose one at random, or just throw them in the air and choose one that lands the furthest. Mr. Eugen was very careful in scrubbing Beatrice. He doesn't even look at me. I reluctantly skim through the papers one by one. Let's choose the one who seems to have the strongest mentality. I only thought of that. After class, we plan to go to Banjul. <sighs> so tired. I ended up spending more than an hour looking through Mr. Eugen's papers. Anyways, Beatrice's school equipment. So shocking. Huh? Look over there! Zoe's sharp eyes were fixed at the school gate. I saw Lance over there. What's he doing in front of the gate? Oh, uh -huh, what a chance! Let's ask him to go to Banjul with us! I recalled as soon as Zoe said that. Come to think of it, I promised Lance we'd get lemon tea together. Was he waiting for me because of that? What do I do? He might feel uncomfortable with Zoe and Shinbi here. Should I call Lance? Yeah. I'm fucking calling Lance! What makes you think I wouldn't call Lance? Like, come on! Who do you think I am? Like, really? Who do you think I am? L lance I gathered the courage to call him and he turned to my side. He looked a bit surprised. Um, we're going to Banjul. Do you want to come? That place with the great lemon tea. Aw, look at him. He's so surprised. <clears throat> On a side note, look how long his fucking fingers are. Like shit. Those are long fingers. My mind went to the gutter. I'm gonna go on. Lance looked at Zoe and Shinbi. Me, Zoe, Shinbi, and you. Let's go all together. Lance doesn't answer. Does he feel uncomfortable because of them? Or maybe he doesn't want to go to the cafe. If that's not it, then maybe... Oh, if you don't want to, it's fine. I just asked since I thought it'd be nice for you to come along. Th then see you later. My disappointment aside, I waved to Lance, seeing him, telling him not to mind. Ah, Ice Prince is so cold as always. Darn. Ugh, he might have come if we'd said something that attract him more. Something that attract him more? Darn. Ugh. I can't just make him go when he doesn't want to. I try to comfort her, but she continues to whine. I feel disappointed too, to be honest. Ah, Hell Week is coming soon. Oh, the exams? Yeah, time flies really fast. Don't you think time flies faster the older we get? Don't you think we're both too young to say that? You're so clueless. It will fly by in a second. I feel the red siren turn on every morning. I can't get up from bed and listen to this without leaning on my knees. That's because you never exercise. Here, let's go in. So we yelled that our days off, that our days weren't far off too. We calmed her down and went into the cafe. Welcome. Hey, Zion. Hello, it's been a while. There's an empty seat next to the harp. I'll lead the way. Following Zeon, we arrive next to the harp. Call me when you know what to order. Okay. Hey, Zeon, wait. Yes? Is Tay here today? Oh, Tay went to look at the some tea leaves. He's really good at it. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, come to think of it, Tay works today. I might get to see him if I wait. I look at the menu Miss Zeon gave us, feeling a bit hopeful. But, hey, Zoe... Yeah? That person. Are you allowed to treat him like a friend? According to rumors, Zeon is a year older than us. <clears throat> oh, that? I asked him last time if he wants me to treat him like a senior, and he said I could just treat him as a friend since it's kind of awkward. Oh, okay. I can't even guess how many times Zoe came to this cafe. Probably enough to wear out the threshold. Since this cafe has all three elements Zoe values most in life. 
cute boys, cute boys, and cute boys. Do you know what to get? Hmm, let's see. I'll... This is for me. Shinbi close chose coffee and I chose lemon tea. Zoe chose hot chocolate, saying she craved for something sweet. Alright, according to my trusty sources, the exams this time are going to be pretty difficult. It's always been difficult. But right after the exams is the festival! We just have to get through this. This time, I'm really going to put on a fantastic festival! But before that, you have to take the exams. Thanks to Shinbi, who bombed the place with her indifferent voice, the air suddenly got tense. Let's see, so when are the exams and when's the festival? I should write it down somewhere. I searched my bag for a pen and paper. Ahem, as a smart woman, I have saved the whole schedule in my phone. Oh, I should do the same. It's been a while since I got a smartphone, but I never tried that. I should try it this time. I feel kind of excited to use that app for the first time. I put my hand in my pocket to take out my smartphone. Huh? Did I leave it in my bag? I search my pockets but can't find my smartphone. I search my bag. What? Your phone's missing? That's weird, I'm sure I put it in here. Did you leave it in the classroom? The classroom and this cafe were the only places I went today, so it had to be in the classroom. I think so. I should probably go back. Thankfully, the cafe wasn't that far from the academy. I quickly got my bag. Wait a sec, I'll go with you. No, it's fine. It's faster to go by myself. You sure you can look for it by yourself? I think it'd be better if we go with you. No, they'll bring the cake out soon. Just stay here and eat it. I'll be quick. Just get my drink in the meantime, alright? I didn't want to make a fuss because of my cell phone. I came out of the cafe in a hurry since everyone would be waiting for me. Is it okay to let her go by herself? We Should we have followed her? Hmm. It's five now. Let's go get her if she doesn't come here by six. That girl. It's not that easy to find your phone if you've lost it these days. Huh? That... Prince open parenthesis star closed parenthesis sunshine! It's Tay. He must be finished with that job. Whatever. Oh god, I can't miss this chance. Camera, camera! He's coming this way. Huh? Oh, Tay, hi! Oh, hi. You are... Oh, we're Aries friends. You remember, don't you? Of course. Is it just the two of you today? No, she was here too, but she left her phone at the academy, so she went back to look for it. To the academy? At this hour? She'll be back soon. If she doesn't come soon, we're going to go and look for her. But Sunsha... I, I, I mean, Tay, do you want to follow my twinter? When did she head out? What? Eerie, when did she head out? Oh, just now. Oh! More and more people. Uh, uh, Ice Prince, what is he doing here? Oh god, two cute boys right in front of my eyes! This is so my day! Oh, Lance, you're here by yourself? What are you doing here? You look like you're searching for something. I've never had that look. Do not misunderstand. Lance, what are you doing here? Is the meeting over? The meeting ended well, but... If you're wondering about... Her... Oh, that's Shinbi. If you're wondering about her, she went back to the classroom to find her phone. She'll be back soon if she finds it. To the classroom? Did she go alone? At this hour? Uh, hey, Lance and Tay. She'll be back soon, so don't worry. But more than that, add me on Twitter. When did she leave? Ugh, why are you both asking the same thing? When did she leave? Five minutes ago. Happy now? Now give me both your Twitter IDs. I have to leave. I'll go too. I should tell Zeon I'm leaving. Aren't you busy with the cafe? Not really. Today's pretty relaxed. The cafe looks full to me, and there seems to be a customer on your right waiting for you to take the order. Whoa, why are you two suddenly so irritated? Both of you, it's only five o'clock. It's not even dark yet. I think you both are worrying too much. We know that you guys owe her big time, but this is not a big deal. Hey. What? Zeon, what do you want? I didn't mean to listen, but I heard your friend went to the academy by herself. Um, I just remembered. It's just a rumor, but I heard that there are ghosts at Kroby Academy at night. What? Are you serious? I've never heard of that. A strange man walks across the campus holding a huge skeleton doll. Zeon, what are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Hobbin. We're backed up on orders right now. I want you to get them out of the way fast. Oh, alright. Sorry, guys. I'll be off. 
Oi, oi, you fall down! Oh no, missus, I'm sorry if my waiter has intruded. I apologize instead. No, he was just worrying with us. It's nothing. A man with a skeleton doll? He's not... We can't... He can't just pass by when he sees someone in trouble. You can say he's nosy or innocent. <laughs> you know quite a lot about Xeon, Mr. Hobbin. You guys don't seem to be just employer-employee. Can I ask you how you know him? Of course. I picked Xeon up. What? You picked him up? Yes, it was... It was a very rainy day. He was crouched down in front of the cafe, cl closed cafe, and crying. I thought he wanted to interfere with our business, so I was about to scold him, but I mean, you just can't scold a face like that. So that's how we met, and he ended up working at my cafe. Mr. Hobbin, there aren't any orders backed up, you liar. Oops, you got me. And I heard everything you said. Don't get mad, you're the one playing hooky during work hours. That's different! Why are you talking about me without my permission? What about my privacy? And I told you to forget about that day. Oh, no, no. I did you a favor, and what, you ungrateful little... If I knew you were such a bad kitty, I wouldn't have picked you up. I was fooled. I'm a victim here. Ah, oh, God, I told you not to call me a kitty. It's embarrassing, Mr. Hobbin. Now, go back to the kitchen. Hurry up. Xeon, don't push. I have to watch my back now. All right, Tay, did you bring the tea leaves? Uh, yes, I put them in my bag. Bring them to the kitchen. Okay. You look busy. I have no choice. Lance, you go look for her. I have other things to do, so... Oh, well. Watch her for me, Lance. Aw, they have that protective little hold on me. It's so cute. Not here. I looked around every single corner of the academy. I even went to the cafeteria just in case, but I couldn't find my phone. I gave up, came back to my classroom, and sat down at my, de at my seat. <sighs> I put my head on the desk and looked outside the window. The sky was red with the sunset. Is it this late already? They'll be waiting. No, they might have all gone home since it's been too long. I hope they're not just sitting there and worrying. Being in an empty classroom felt strange. I haven't felt silent peace in a long time. I was used to this silence just a month ago. I was the only person making any noise in the house. Hi, how was your day? I would talk to the dolls. You know, it gets dark really early since it's winter. By the time I come back from school, you guys are all in the dark. Should I leave the lights on? It gets gloomy in the dark. I talked to them as if they were alive and had feelings. I didn't want to think the ones who stood by me were lifeless. I didn't want to think that I was the only one alive and moving in the empty house. It would be nice if you guys could move. Oh, I have to get new clothes. And maybe new shoes? Will you guys feel happy? I only get silence for my questions. The dolls stay exactly as how I position them and never answer my questions. Will guys feel happy? I'm not alone. Am I? I heard someone running from the end of the hallway. Who is it? <sighs> this pant. Lance? I looked at the open door and see Lance. His back to the red sunset, he was catching his breath. His usual tidy look was completely gone. Lance, what are you doing here? I asked, surprised. Did the meeting just end? I wondered why he was here until so late. Oh, did Lance leave something here too? He seemed to have just stopped in front of me, but he pulled the front chair and sat down. What are you doing here? To get you. I came to get you. To get me? I know the way back. What's that shopping bag you're holding? In Lance's right hand was a white paper bag. Without answering, he put the bag on the desk. The sunset reflected his hair and it glimmered. His silver hair burned red. God, it's pretty. I suddenly remember what I saw him at the, when I saw him at the school roof, and when he sat by me at the roof of the department store. And... <laughs> Aw, look at her, she's blushing! Lance looks at me seriously. Looking at his eyes, I recall every recent thing I went through with him. Did you find it? What? What you were looking for. Oh, my smartphone? How did you know I lost it? Your friends told me. I was surprised at what Lance said. That meant he met Shinbi and Soe, but I had no clue where. He must have been at the school for the meeting. Did they meet him on his way back? Oh, well I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find it. There are pictures of you in your new clothes. I lowered my head in disappointment. Not just pictures of Lance, but pictures of all the dolls were in that phone. I can always add the numbers again, but there's no way to recover lost pictures. 
I've gotten attached to it for many reasons, and I felt sad thinking I'll never find it again. <sighs> There's no need to be so sad. You can just get a new one. No, I don't really want to. Whenever I lose something, I feel empty without it, so I never feel like replacing it. So he downloaded all the apps for me, and I was just getting used to it. He must have noticed how sad I was. He continued to speak. You can get a new one. Ask Yuri. Or it won't be too bad to try another model. So there's no need to be so sad. Replacements are plenty. Maybe you can find something better. Lance said that and turned his gaze. I guess he was trying to comfort me. I dropped the phone once because of Zoe and the case was scratched. Then good. No, that's not what I meant. I... I thought for a minute on how I should explain. I wanted to tell him just because you buy a new one, it can't completely replace the old one. I like my scratched phone. I do not understand what you mean. I don't know. I don't know how I should say this, but I like that scratch. He must have thought it was strange since he frowned a bit. He looked like he didn't understand. There are, er there are several memories in that phone. The memory of Yuri forcing me to take it at first, and the memories of trying to learn how to use it, and the memory of taking pictures of you in your new clothes. I didn't know how to zoom in and out while taking them, so I ended up with several pictures that looked the same. And then I got used to the phone and became attached to it. Besides, I was kind of happy that we used the same model. It reminded me of you guys every time. All the memories flashed through my head. Not the memory of the phone, but of Lance standing in front of me in his new outfit. At some point, I was talking about the boys and Lance instead of the phone. When you lose something that contains memories, you get these holes that you can't cover up with something new. You just can't replace it with anything else. I guess the only thing it is, is that it's new. If I had had it for a longer time, I would have been more upset, since there would be so many memories attached to it. Well, I guess I'll be fine after I get a new one and get used to that. But still, I feel upset right now. I was careless. Aw, he looks so surprised again. That's probably like my favorite facial expression of his. Lance didn't say anything for a while. I'm curious. I'm curious. Lance asked again. What? I've never seen Lance make that face before. His blue eyes full of sincere questions shining brighter than the sunset. How many of your memories are attached to a thing like me? What? A thing? I was shocked that Lance called himself a thing. He was definitely a doll once, but not anymore. No, even when he was a doll, he wasn't just a thing. But Lance just called himself a thing. How many... are there? Lance stared at me, expecting an answer. I didn't know why he was suddenly asking that, and I couldn't just answer. Lance, why are you asking that? Lance was never a thing to me, so I didn't know what to think of next. How many memories? I don't know how I can answer that, Lance. How many memories I have of you, just thinking about it scared me. I can give him a number if that's what he wants. But if I say it out loud, I feel like even the memories will be valued like a thing. The memories I have of Lance are too many to count. They are so precious I cannot express with words. Will Lance be able to understand this? If you had lost me, would the sadness you feel then depend on the number of memories? What? Lance, what are you talking about? Uh... I feel like saying don't say that is accurate in this sense. Don't say things like that. I yelled without knowing. What do you mean if I had lost you? Just thinking about it. No, I don't even want to think about it. I ended up clenching my fists. Why are you saying things like that, Lance? I looked into his eyes while asking sadly. Oh. Just imagining losing you makes me so sad. So please don't say things like that. Please. My hands shook. It was just for a moment, but the thought that crossed my head made my heart sink. Would Lance know how I feel right now? He won't. If he knew, he would never have asked me that. Do not cry. I'm not crying! My face must be so hideous, all red with sadness and surprise. I was about to cover my face with my arms when he pulled them away. Huh? It's so 
adorable and cute! Ah! I suddenly smelled his scent. L Lance? You really are impossible to figure out. Getting upset over losing something. There are so many replacements. For what you lost. And for me. Don't say that. I won't. I do not want to make you nervous. My heart was about to burst. Lance just stood there holding me tight. Time seems to have stopped. In the empty classroom were only me, Lance, and the sunset. As my heartbeat and Lance's scent harmonized, my heart started to beat faster. The thought of Lance disappearing. It's a nightmare! I was scared, imagining you disappearing all, all of a sudden. Stop. Lance cut my words. I stopped talking. Silence flowed between us. He was still holding on to me, and I was still holding on to my pounding heart. And at that moment, a small voice whispered in my ear, I'm sorry for making you think that. At those words, my fears stopped haunting me, and instead of those fears was Lance. Lance, who was holding on to me, didn't disappear. I can't even compare that with losing a smartphone. If I lost Lance, I don't know how upset. Stupid. I sort of shot at him to convey how upset I was. Oh, right. Lance must have thought of something. He searched inside the paper bag he bought. Take this. In his hand was a takeout cup, and on it was Banjul's logo. Is this? I took it and smelled a familiar scent. Lemon tea? You went to Banjul? I imagine Lance going up to the counter to order the drink. Lance handed the drink to me. Thanks. I have something filled with memories. Like this lemon tea. Lance? I never had a favorite drink. You were my only... You were my one and only owner who... Gave me memories. And a personality. So, I will look for it. Your thing is waiting for its owner somewhere. Lance looked into my eyes. His sincere voice echoed in the empty classroom. I will find it for you. The thing that holds your memories. Aww. Cute. We didn't find the phone, but thank God Yuri's not saying anything. I think of what happened. The Lance I saw today was different from the Lance I knew before. No, it was the same Lance, but he seemed more honest. Lance was a bit weird. Was I the only one who felt that? I talked to him at the dolls by my desk. But as always, the dolls gave no answer. Whatever, I don't know. I yawned and closed my diary. I wrote in my diary today as well. I felt sleepy already since I spent so much energy today trying to find my phone. I feel like I've gotten closer to Lance. I should go to bed for now and start fresh tomorrow. I should get a new phone and make new memories with it. I slept well. I reach out by my bed, but I don't feel the usual device. Oh, right. I lost my smartphone yesterday. It'll be pretty uncomfortable until I get a new one. I checked Lance's text every morning. I felt sad again thinking all the texts I got were gone, too. And honestly, it was Lance rather than the phone that bothered me. I fell asleep last night just thinking about him. If I had a phone, I could have texted him or something. Whatever. Let's not think about it. I should get ready quickly so I'm not late. Did my cat just sneeze outside my door? Hold on. That was my cat that just sneezed outside my door. I let her in. <laughs> but that was weird. Hey? Hey. You didn't find it? Yeah, I couldn't. Cheer up. Yeah, just get a new one. Well, yours was the newest model. I remembered Lance telling me to just get a new one. I unconsciously looked at Lance's seat. It still bothered me that I didn't see his face at the gate. He's usually there since he's the discipline guide, but he wasn't there today. Weird. I hope nothing happened. Where was he this morning? Ah, uh, I was unconsciously thinking of Lance again. Ta Suddenly, a lean white hand covered my sight. Oh? It was Lance's hand. Lance? Here, I found it. Your cell phone. This is it, right? Don't lose it now. L Lance found my phone? I looked at him surprised, and at that moment I remembered what he said yesterday. I will find it for you. 
the thing that contains your memories. He kept his promise. I felt so moved. Th thank you, but where did you find it? It was in the infirmary. The infirmary? Oh, come to think of it, I remembered I went to the infirmary yesterday to help Mr. Eugen. I must have dropped it then. He told me it was between the rib bones of the skeleton model. He thought it was trash and threw it away. A normal person would have thought it's a lost item. It was so Mr. Eugen. But how did you guess it'd be in the infirmary? It didn't even occur to me. How did you know? I was just passing by the infirmary. Coincidentally. Oh? Really? <laughs> if Lance said it, it must be so. Lance wouldn't have walked around the whole building to search for my phone. Someone else might have, but not Lance. I was embarrassed at overthinking it. Lance stared at me. You are so slow. Huh? <laughs> this time he's smiling. <laughs> That's so cute. Because <laughs> the thing is, is that he totally walked around the entire school building looking for her phone. And I bet the infirmary was the last place he looked. I asked him, but he didn't answer. But his expression looked different than usual. He seemed to be smiling. I'm thankful. Of what? That you're slow. Aww, look at his face! Look at that hint of a smile. You know, I think his smile is the top favorite. <laughs> like, I like his surprised face, but his smiling face is good too. Way better. What is he talking about? <laughs> oh, look at that! He's pushing a little bit! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm going up! <laughs> I'm getting too excited over this, but like, he's so cute! And I like that face. Look at that expression. Again, that stupid face. What? I have no idea what Lance is talking about. What does he mean by slow? But, wait, I look stupid? Lance loosened his face again. I couldn't believe my eyes. L Lance is smiling? What? You have something to say to me? No, not really. I felt iffy. Only Lance would make me feel weird by smiling. I mean, Lance smiling twice instead of flat out ignoring me? That was weird in itself. Lance straightened his uniform and went back to his seat. I glanced at him, taking books out of his bag. Unlike usual, his sleeves were rolled up and his hair was a bit damp. He looked like he ran around the playground. I still think of what he said yesterday. He really kept his promise to find it for me. I didn't expect him to keep that promise, so I felt happier at the unexpected surprise. <laughs> I check my texts in the smartphone and see all the texts Lance and I sent each other. Thank God I found it. I'm so glad. I tape up another text for Lance. Thank you. And hit send. I wish you could hear my voice. Things containing memories. What? 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 Okay. Okay. Are you replaceable? What kind of title is that? <sighs> All right, one second here. Lance asked me to go to the library with him, spending my precious weekend at the library. Ugh, since we still have time until exams, I begged if we could just watch the TV. Lance sighed, but he went along. He can actually be pretty nice sometimes. <laughs> okay, nothing unusual there. What about the texts in here? Good luck, thank you. It is the weekend. How about going to the library to study for the exams? Ugh. I will understand that is a no. What do you want to do today? Do you want to watch TV together? The movie re 
Replay show will start soon. Alright. That must be what she's talking about in the diary. Ah, but I guess we'll figure out what's going on with the mysterious boy and and how he wishes he wants to that I could hear his voice. And I guess we'll find out more about Lance. And he's just so cute. He's so cute. He went all around the entire school to find my phone for me. Like that's adorable. That's the kind of dedication I like to see. It's cute. He's so fucking cute. Boys can be cute. Boys can be so fucking adorable. Boys can be so great sometimes. Man. <sighs> there needs to be more awesome, cute, adorable, awesome boys in my in in life and in, in my life. And in other people's lives. And just everyone needs to be cute and adorable and nice to each other. And that would be great. Like, that would be pretty great. Alright. I guess we'll see what happens in the next one. Alright? Okay. Later. Later.